one who who uh, follows Islam I, I, on, a, so, I, on a sort of uh, personal basis, to be honest. Um, do you do you do you believe in anything yourself? Um, I mean, I, I have been brought up uh, Catholic, um, so I. Um, I'm here with two seconds. Let me look at the camera. Right, I'm here with Luke. Um, how you doing, Luke? N nice to meet you. My name's Omar. Um, we've not met before, have we? No, no, just, uh, just. Now. I mean, not just saying that because it's camera. Um, it's just that we've not met before. Yeah. So I've got a couple of quick questions for you. What do you think about the? What do you think? Have you heard about the niqab? Do you know what um, the cab is? Um, I, I mean, I've, I've heard references to it, but maybe if you, if you clarify. So All right, I, basically, I it's the face veil that uh, women wear. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that recently the, on Channel 4 there was a debate. Um, okay. Basically, it was whether or not the niqab should be banned. Right, um, okay. It's the face veil. I take it you've seen women with face veils yeah, and stuff yeah. on. What do, you, what do you think about that? Do you think it's their right uh, to wear it, or do you think that they should not wear it? Um, I, I, I suppose there's a you know a fundamental right insofar as you know anyone can basically wear whatever they want in a in a standard context. Um, however, I suppose there could be cases where where uh, say say for some identification purposes where it may be a necessity to to say see the full face. So I suppose it, it requires sensitivity on a case by case basis to to judge whether whether the need to see say the face for and for a given purpose it should supersede say. I, I, a religious right. Yeah, I I, it's case by case, I suppose. This is this is this is what it is. Uh, like, for example, they're saying that in the NHS that they, sh they should not be allowed to wear the face veil. Yeah. But in the NHS, they're already not allowed to wear the face veil. So what they're doing is they're creating a problem right. that doesn't actually exist. Okay. So they and and to to be perfectly honest with you, um, the women when it does come to this sort of necessity to remove it they do remove it okay. so that's already in place uh, yeah. people already uh, require this so what is your general feelings on towards the i don't know if you've seen it there's quite a lot it, it's been discussed in parliament in the house yeah. of commons uh, whether or not this should be banned or not i mean what are your views on that um i i, I suppose i i don't think it should be should be banned um i think obviously a lot of a lot of say, say my impression is you know channeled through the media of course as opposed to you know a sort of primary interaction uh, and you, you know, knowing a lot of people that wear it, say, um, so so that has to be normalised for, um, and and you know, you know, obviously, if it is, if it's not, you know, uh, uh, causing any problems, then I don't think you can really make a strong case for, you know, for for not not allowing it. Um, but also, I think, it, so so for, so for people my age, say, you know, obviously, growing up in a more globalised, you know, international community. It, it's almost a non-issue to the point where it doesn't register as possibly being an issue. It's just, it's just you know, f fine. Obviously, we live in a globalized world, but I, I suppose for older people, can maybe view it as a bit more threatening if you just purely weren't, weren't as used to it. Maybe. Yeah. What would uh, what would be your message to the the women that wear the face veil that feel threatened by you know people that are walking by that might harass them or the fact that you know because of the way the media is pushing it what would be your message to what to, to those people that actually wear it? Um, I, I suppose you just need to need to embrace it as as you as you have been doing if you're if you're wearing one and just show that any negative media attention doesn't register with you you know you're you're just going to wear it. As you would normally, you are who you are. Interact with people as you would normally, and then people will see that it's it doesn't correspond to threat because this is just a, a, a person a person interacting with me. Well, well, that's good. Uh, just a, a few more questions, um, if you don't mind, if you've got time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you um, what do you know about Islam? Do you know anything about Islam? Uh, very little, as I say. And anything anything that has been gathered is is you know just through references on TV and, and any programs. I, I mean, I, I don't I don't I don't know anyone.